So I've been uh, struggling chasing down an air leak on my uh, Tomos A35 engine here. Um, doing the uh, the usual spraying around the intake with starting fluid and listening for the engine to rev up and stuff like that. And that didn't yield any results, but I don't know. It seemed like it's having trouble idling. I've checked the timing. Um, it seems like it's running a little hotter than it should, and so I'm I'm thinking air leak. So I'm thinking it was somewhere other than around my intake. And so what I did is I uh, put together a little uh, uh, leak down tester setup. Um, basically, what it is, if you want to buy like an actual two-stroke leak down tester, it's like a kit's like 200 bucks. So I didn't want to spend that much money. So what I did is. I picked up this. Um, it's a. Uh, it's a. It's for testing gas lines in your house. Basically, it's a. It's a coupling with a little Schrader valve on a, on the side and a uh, uh, pressure gauge. So this goes. Let's see. This mine goes to 100, and um, since. We're only going to put about six to ten pounds of pressure in here. You definitely don't need one that goes that high, but this is all they had in stock, so that's what I got. Plus, with my bike pump here, I can I can just look at that. So I don't even really need the gauge. So I guess you could rig something up for probably even cheaper that's just the coupling with the Schrader valve in it. But that's what I got. So I got that piece of radiator hose um, to hook it to the intake, and then. We also want to block the uh, the exhaust, so I had a spare uh, exhaust header for a Pook, which fits on my Tomos just the same too. And on the end here, I've got a little rubber expansion plug. So exhaust is all sealed up. Intake's got that guy on there, um, and spark plugs in there. So what you want to do is let me hold this. I'm going to put, I don't know, six to ten pounds of pressure in here. And so it should hold for uh, about a minute. And if it drops at all, then I've got a leak somewhere. And you can see, oh shit, that's 20 pounds. Way too much. Um, but what that does, the reason why you don't want to do too much is it can blow the. Uh, uh, blow the seals out of the uh, crank and so that's that's not good that was kind of dumb but anywho you can see it's leaking and I've got a leak somewhere so how do I see where the leak is so I've got this little bottle bottle of uh, soapy water and I'm just going to spray around uh, the case base of the engine uh, head and the intake and stuff. And so if I've got a leak, we're going to see it bubbling. And so nothing here, nothing there, nothing really there. But I can hear something up here. And you can see it's right around the spark plug. And uh, I've done this before. So I already knew it was leaking there. Um, and that's torqued down pretty good. So what I'm going to try doing is chasing the threads with this uh, spark plug thread chaser to kind of maybe maybe my threads are a little messed up and this will help me get a better seal. So I'm going to give that a shot, but I don't know. I, th I think I dropped like 30 bucks on this. Um, this gauge was only like 17 bucks. This, this uh, I don't know. Spigot coupling deal here was actually the same price as this. I, I wasn't looking at prices when I picked that up, but I don't know. It's a lot cheaper than 200 bucks. So I don't know. That's I don't know. Hope I can save somebody some money. Thanks. Bye.